All right, let's take a look at uh, dividing decimals. So dividing decimals is just like dividing regular numbers, uh, numbers without decimals. So here we have the decimal. So all we do is we just take the decimal and move it up. And the decimal goes right here. So 6 goes into 6 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. And we subtract. 6 minus 6 is 0. And then we bring down the 8. 6 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract. 8 minus 6 is 2. Bring down the next number, 0. 6 goes into 20 three times. 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract. We get 2. Bring down the 4. 6 goes into 24 four times. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 minus 24 is 0 and here's our answer all right let's take it let's take a look at 0.3 divided by 8 so 8 doesn't go into 3 so what we can do is we can add zeros we can add as many as we want let's just add I don't know let's just add 2 for now so 8, well, first let's bring up the decimal. So 8 goes into 30 three times. Okay. 3 times 8 is 24. And we're going to add a zero right here. Okay, so 30 minus 24, that's 6. Bring down the zero. 8 goes into 60 seven times. 7 times 8 is 56. 60 minus 56, that's 4. And let's add another zero. And we can bring that zero down. Eight goes into forty five times. Five times eight is forty. And there's our remainder zero. And there's our answer. All right, let's take a look at a couple more. Here we have point zero zero five divided into thirty two. Now when you're dividing, we can't have a decimal out here. So we need to move the decimal one, two, three places. So that means we have to move the decimal. There's a decimal here. One, two, three places also. So let's add a one two, three zeros, okay, and this decimal's here. So now we have five goes into 32, six times, six times five is 30, 32 minus 30 is two, bring down the zero, 5 goes into 20 4 times 4 times 5 is 20 and there's a 0 and we bring down the next 0 5 goes into 0 0 times 0 times 5 is 0 and 0 and bring down the next 0 5 goes into 0 zero times. Five times zero is zero and there's our remainder zero. 
So here's our answer, 6,400. All right, let's take a look at one more. Okay, so first, we need to move the decimal one, two places to the right. So we need to move this one one, two places. And so we move the decimal up. It's right here between the zero and seven. So six goes into 18 three times. Three times six is 18. That's zero. Bring down the zero. Six goes into zero, zero times. Zero times six is zero. That's zero. Bring down the seven. Six goes into seven one time. One times six is six. Seven minus six is one. Bring down the two. Six goes into twelve. Two times, two times six is twelve, and I have a remainder of zero. And here's my answer, 30.12. And that's dividing decimal.